Okay, so good morning. So for our subject, EE133, so about electrical machine 1. So we have here our objectives. So first, we have to understand the basic working principle and the operational features and characteristic and testing of different types of DC generators and motors. So, which are widely used in industry. And so, number two, we have to expose the students to the concept of various, various types of electrical machines and their application. So, first we have here, for our first topic, we have DC generators. So, the electrical machines deal with the energy transfer either from mechanical to electrical form or from electrical to mechanical form so this process is called electromechanical energy conversion so an electrical machine which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy is called an electric generator while an electrical machine which converts electrical energy into mechanical is called electric motor. So take note ta na if from mechanical di ay to electrical so ginatawag na siya electric generator. While if electrical to mechanical so ang tawag niya is electric motor. A DC generator, generator rather is built Utilizing the basic principle that EMF is induced in a conductor when it cuts magnetic lines of force, a DC motor, take note, works on the basic principle that a current carrying conductor plays in a magnetic field experiences a force. So, sa construction of DC, DC machines na to, so, a DC machine consists of two main parts. So, na siya two main parts. Una ni is ang stationary part. So, stationary part, it is designed mainly for producing a magnetic flux. So, diri sa stationary, diri na to makita ang magnetic flux. So, second, we have the rotating part. It is called the armature, where mechanical energy is converted into electrical or conversely electrical into mechanical. So, sa rotating part, naadari ang atuang armature. So, makita na to sa atuang diagram below, sa atuang motor. So, we have here na siya brush, na ay pole, na ay yoke iyang armature iyang shaft and iyang armature winding and the commutator so kanina parts so we have here so balito ni ma'am na siya yoke magnetic pole so sa magnetic pole natay pole core and pole shoe number 3 we have the field winding the armature core armature winding commutator and the brushes and bearing so the stationary part and rotating parts are separated from each other so take note lahi ang stationary and rotating parts the stationary part of a dc machine consists of main poles designed to create the magnetic flux so na create siya og magnetic commutating poles interpose between the main poles and design to ensure a sparkless operation of the brushes at the commutator and a frame or yoke. The armature is a cylindrical body rotating in the space between the poles and comprising a slotted armature core. So a winding inserted in the armature core slots a commutator and a brush. So we have here the, me the meaning of our parts of our DC machine. So first we have the yoke. So, so, so yoke. So yoke 
it saves the purpose of the outermost cover. So, outermost cover siya sa tuang DC machine. And two, we have, it provides a mechanical support to the poles. And number three is, it is a forms a part of the magnetic circuit. It provided a path of low reluctance for magnetic flux. So next, we have the poles. So on some poles, so poles, each pole is divided into two parts. So two parts ang atong pole, kaning pole core and pole shoe. So pariha, makita na ito sa diagram. Ito man example sa so, itong pole shoe and pole core. Then na siya ay air ducts para makagawa sa ito ang amin. So ang function sa ito ang pole is basically carries a field winding which necessary to produce the flux. And second, it directs the flux produced through air gap to armature core to the next pole. And number three is pole shoe. So, ang gamit sa pole shoe, enlarge the area of armature core to come across the flux which is necessary to produce larger induced EMF. So, to achieve this, pull core has been a given a particular shape. So, that's why inana iyang shape. So, giingon para maka produce siya o larger induced EMF. So, for our armature, sa tong armature, it is further divided into two parts the eye. So, there are two parts for our, our armature. First, we have armature core and armature winding. So, sa armature core, it is a cylindrical in shape mounted on the shaft. It consists of slot on its periphery and the air ducts to, perm to permit the air flow through armature which serves cooling purpose. So, we have here our example for our armature. So, sa atong armature, makita nato na tayo slot. Then, at, ang ato ang armature core. So, kanin. And natay air ducts and the keyhole. And for our function for our armature, so, armature core provides house for armature winding. So, dira, dira na to makita ang armature windings at ito ang armature core. To provide a path of, low, path of low reluctance to the flux, it is made up of magnetic material like cast iron or cast steel. So, armature winding is nothing but the interconnection of the armature conductors. So, place in the slots provided in the armature core. So, when the armature is rotated, so imon, if ang armature nato is rotated, in case of generator, magnetic flux gets cut by the armature conductor and EMF gets induced in them. So, there are function for generation of EMF. So, na, if na ay EMF sa tuang armature winding, so, we have here to carry the current supplied in case of DC motors and to do the use, useful work in the external circuit. So, we have here for another part, so, field winding. So, the field winding is wound on the pull core with a definite direction. So, we have here our example for our field winding. So, nakita na to. So, ito ang machine. So, naay wire ends. Ayang former. Dahil yun ang yang laminated pull core. So, ang, ang function sa ito ang field winding is to carry a current due to which pull core on which the winding is placed behave as an electro magnet na makaproduce of flux. So, at it helps in producing the magnetic field. So, electromagnetic, it is called 
field winding or exciting winding. So, na siya laing term. So, pwede ta mo gamit og field winding or the exciting winding. So, another, we have commutator. So, ang commutator is the rectification in case of DC generator is done by device called as the as commutator. So, sa commutator na to, we have here an example. So, sa commutator, na tayo commutator lugs, the insulated copper segments, and the end clamp. And ang function for our commutator is to facilitate the collection of current from the armature. So, nag-collect siya of current ikan sa tuwang armature conductors. Two is to convert internally developed alternating EMF to in the directional DC EMF. And number three is to produce an, un, un, an i-directional torque unidirectional torque in case of motor. And lastly, we have the brushes and brush gear. So, pang brushes in, are stationary and rest on the surface of the commutator. So, makita na to ang brushes sa commutator. Brushes are rectangular in shape. So, take note that rectangular in shape sila. They are housed in brush holders which are usually of box type. So, makita na to sa ito ang figure. So, mami, ito ang so, na, pwede na ito siya ma-adjustable wooden box brush na din na ice spring and the copper with tape. Ang functions at ang brushes and brush gear is to collect current from commutator and make it available to the stationary external circuit. And for our bearings, ball bearings are usually used as they are more reliable for heavy duty machine roller buildings are prepared. So we have here sa ato ang armature windings na siya ay types, types of armature windings. So armature conductors are connected in a specific manner called as armature winding. And according to the way of connecting the conductors, armature winding is divided into two types. So first, we have the lap winding. So in this case, if connection is started from conductor in slot 1, then the connections overlap each other as winding process. Still, starting point is reached again. It forms a loop. So, pabalot ang say loop as it expands around the armature core. So, it is used for low voltage, high current DC generators. So, magamit na to ang lap winding if low voltage ta and high current na DC generators. And next part, next type is the wave winding. So, in this type, winding always travels ahead so to avoid overlapping it travels like a progressive wave hence called wave winding so both coils starting from slot 1 and slot 2 are progressing in wave fashion so we have here as number of parallel path is less so it is preferable for low current high voltage capacity generator so mostly, ang wave winding is magamit siya sa mga low current but high voltage capacity na generator. So we have here the types of armature winding as to direction of expansion. So na type progressive. So ang progressive is the winding advances going clockwise when viewed at the commutator. And for retrogressive, the winding advances going counterclockwise. So, take nota. Ang progressive is clockwise. Ang retrogressive is counterclockwise. So, there are winding elements on coil. So, winding element is the side of the coil which is act 
active in flux copy. So, kita na to sa itong winding elements. If one element, so dapat one wire. In one coil is contained of two elements. So, makita na to sa itong figure. So, one turn is equal. So, pila ka wire, we have two wires. And one element, two wires, and one element if two wires. So, giingon, if if natay two turns and two elements, so we have four wires na magamit. So, let's have an example. An armature core requires 360 conductors an end. With three torts per coil, how many coils are there? So let's have, so take note. three turns three turns per coil ginon sa problem that means that there are six conductors per coil so to solve for to solve for our coil, so we have n is equal to so one coil na to is equal to six conductors. So nagatag mo sa conductors, so we have three hundred sixty conductors from our problem. Three turns about six conductors. So our final answer will be 60 coils. So only at one. So there are 60 coils in if not required of 300 60 conductors so 3 turns sa 2 arm armature so there are types of winding as to number of winding elements per slot so na tayo una we have the simplex so there are 2 winding elements per slot so if duplex so there are 4 winding elements and for the triplex, there are six winding elements per slot. So take note aning types of winding na to. So we have here our example. So for our simplex, and duplex and triplex. Next, we have pole pitch. So what is pole pitch? Pole pitch is the number of armature slots under each pull face so not a pull pull pitch so formula for that we have pull pitch is equal to the total number of slots divided by sa ang number of poles or to short we have slots over pole so sometimes pull pitch is measured in terms of the number of conductors under each pull face. So another formula. So same ra sa taas. Total numbers divided or conductors per pole. So let's have an example. So solve the pole pitch in a four pole lap wound 32 coil DC generator. Assume two conductors per coil. So, we have here to solve for our pole pitch. So, our formula will be conductors divided by the pole. So, sa itong problem, maghatag siya o two, ga-assume daw tama, two conductors per coil so therefore 
to conductors. Conductors per coil times ang given na 32 coil sa to ang DC generator. Divided by sa to ang pole na given sa problem na 4 pole lap 1. So, we have here 4 poles. So, our final answer for our pole pitch is 16 conductors per pole. So this is our final answer for our example. So we have also a coil span. So sa coil span na to, there are is standard, standard rule. So the coil movement must go from the center of the north pole to the center of the next south pole. So we have here coil span distance between the coils. Sides measured in terms of armature slots. So we have here our example sa tong coil. So sa tong coil na siya coil span. So ang formula na is slots over pole. So take note that coil span is always rounded off to the smaller pool number. So, dapat i-round na to into smaller pool number. If the coil span is equal to the coil pitch, the coil pitch is called full pitch. So, if equal din ato ang coil span o katong coil pitch, ang tawagan na is full pitch. If the coil span is less than, so, itawag siya nga fractional pitch. So, full pitch is equivalent to a span equal to 180 electrical degrees. So let's have an example. So, in a 4-pole 35 slots armature coil core, a coil span of approximately 180 electrical degrees will be obtained when coils occupy what slot number. So, also, ang giingon sa itong problem. Note that in order in order to span ang giingon sa problem to span the wait. So we need to solve first for our slots per pole. So slots per pole Kaling nga formula sa taas. So, we have we have 35 slots over 4. So, we have 8.75. But, hindi di ba nga smaller whole number. So, ang answer na to ani will be approximately to 8 8 atuam coil 8 atuam coil span so explain na nung 8 so in order to span 8 slots the coils should occupy slot 1 and slot 9. So, sa ito ang coil span. So, if 8 atong final answer, so, dapat ang atong coil is mag-occupy siya from slot 1 and slot 9. So, pero yung atong drawing, So, there is not a slot 1. And we have slot 9. So, therefore, can it be 
Mao ni ato ang 8 slots. So for our last topic, for our module 1 is we have electrical and mechanical degree equivalence. So 180 electrical degrees refer to the coil expansion which is equal to the center to center distance between two adjacent coil. So makita na ito sa tong coil. So natay north pole and south pole. So diha ilang distance is 180 degrees. So we have here 180 degrees. Electrical is equal to 360 degrees divided by P mechanical. So P is stand for the number of poles. So we have here example if two pole. So 100 electrical is equal to 180 degrees mechanical. And if four poles are a problem, so we have here. So 180 electrical is equal to 90 degrees mechanical. So let's have an example. In a six pole DC generator, 45 mechanical degrees correspond to blank electrical degree. So, so solution, so sa ito ang naghatag siya og 45 mechanical degree. So, 45 mechanical degrees. So, to convert to electrical degree, so sa itong problem, ay sa itong formula, we have here 180 electrical divided by 360 divided by 6 degree 6 pole and on the ray 6 pole DC generator Ngunit ito ang mechanical. So, our answer will be, so, makancel ito ang mechanical. So, electrical ang mabilin. So, we have 134 degrees electrical. So, this is our final answer. So, more ni ito ang formula. So, ito ang if mag-convert ta. So, I hope na inasabdan for our module 1. So, if you have any question, pwede ra mga tanong sa ito ang Google Classroom. So, that's all. Thank you.